welcome back, citizens one and all, welcome back. Let's talk about heat root. You can see one there on the cliff. We are up here near flooded steps, going all the way over into the corner. This thing can spawn all through here. Uh, it's kind of a static spawn, but you will see it through here. All in this area here. It does not going to spawn in that exact spot every time. It can spawn anywhere right through here. We will add a few more spawn points to this video. Let's carry on. T high up there. Heat root, excuse me. So we're over here by the statue garden, and there's a heat root here. But keep in mind, these can spawn all throughout this face here, as well as this face here. This is a very high traffic area for heat root spawns. All right. One final heat root spawn right here up against the statue garden area again. All right. There we go. We grabbed it. Let's talk a little bit about heat root. I'd say out of everything, it's the most random to find. You're kind of just running and looking at the cliffs as you run. And there are spots that spawns. But it seems to be a little more random than the dark cloves and the, um, what's it called? Heart drop lily. So keep that in mind. The biggest advice I can offer for the heat root is to just look as you walk and you will find it more often than not. But we shared a few spawn points that I've found and had luck with. Uh, and I will leave it there. And I wish you all the best as you enjoy your playtime in Palea and your hunt for heat root. With these being rare herbs, they're a little harder to say this is how you get them. So we're showing some things and we'll go from there. That note again, please do like, subscribe, and enjoy Palea.